What's going on everybody and welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me your host Bell Art Wright. And today I got a treat for you guys. We're going to be playing another game from Gunfire Games. And of course if you stuck around my channel for any uh, length of time, you know that one of the you'll know that one of the more popular games for the channel is actually uh, Darksiders, the Darksiders series really, the first and the second game. And this is actually made by that same studio. So it is similar to Darksiders 3, which I haven't played for the channel yet, in that they've decided to uh, use the Souls-like formula. Uh, the formula entails that basically uh, you have a centralized uh, save slash heal mechanic, and then when you use that mechanic, uh, the enemies will respawn. That's kind of what I'm talking about when I say Souls-like. In a limited healing, healing that uh, replenishes at that same save point. Um, or checkpoint you can call it so this game will be similar to a souls like game in that regard but it is a shooter a third person shooter so it's, it's, it's really unique in a lot of ways so I did think this will be fun to play in the interim uh, before I start my Darksiders 3 playthrough uh, I have yet to beat this game but um, I really do enjoy it it's got, I kind of have a love hate relationship with this game um, you guys will see why we'll get to it uh, once I start playing but um I really I really like playing it. It feels really good. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Let's get it going. And of course I have an update. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I thought I would have to actually stop the recording to update. So this uh I think this will be a treat. Um cause, yeah, like I say, I have a love hate relationship with this game is mostly love but some of the stuff they do does manage to piss me off in a lot of cases um and if you guys are already fans of remnant you probably know what i'm talking about um as a solo player they do a lot of stuff that really irks me um especially once you get further and further into the game things get kind of kind of crazy So like I said, I've yet to beat the game. I do want to beat it. And uh, I guess playing on the channel will I guess give me motivation to beat it. Hopefully. I don't think I'll drop it, but um. So uh, this is my main character here. And I just got the beam rifle. I started using that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start a completely new character. I could even just like re-roll this character and, and start over that way, but I don't think that'd be too much fun for you guys. So I'm going to start with a brand new character. It's going to be a dude, because I'm a dude. And you know what? I'll actually use one of these pre-made characters. Okay. I go with the beard look. I go with the old man. Why not? Let's go with the old man. All right, and of course, this police sirens in the background. So ignore that, please. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna fuss too much with this stuff. What is this doing here? This could be useful. Hmm. Well, this looks like it was important. What this is? Is that number two? This could be useful. Yeah, that's fine. Standard, hardcore. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do standard. Difficulty hard. Oh, diff what's the difference between game mode and difficulty? All right, well, this is what we're gonna roll with, so. Let's get going. Um, I'm gonna do solo. This will be offline character again. I've yet to even play with, uh... well, hold on, what type of? Okay, so hopefully this is the, the game game. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Like the, uh, the roguelike mode. This will be a story mode run. 
because I'm not going to mess with the other stuff until I beat the story mode. What can we do when our last hope fails? That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found, or so we thought, when the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. Your journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face what lurks within. Wrecked. Literally. When our Literally wrecked. Fails, another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. The human spirit, folks. Definitely the human spirit. As long as we have breath, we will fight. It's a good way to start the game, I say. And that really gives the game an adventure feel. This game has a, with the story and the way everything's presented, it has a really uh, strong adventure feel to it. And when we start, we're playing a Souls-like. <laughs> we don't have guns or anything like that. We just have this sword. Yeah, we aren't even taught how to use it, but you end up learning. And for the controls, they're gonna—I think they're gonna give us a tutorial for the controls. Yeah, circle to crouch. And you can sneak. That's gonna be different from a Souls-like. R2 for melee. Consumable items offer temporary aid. They can be found in the world or purchased from merchants. Consumables will automatically be equipped once picked up if there are no other consumables in the inventory. And we can use the directional uh, pad to use our different consumables. And it probably is a good idea to heal, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Now you can actually get through this first part successfully, uh, but but you'll get a different cutscene depending on if you uh, die or you get a different cutscene depending on if you live or die on this first part. You do have to worry about stamina. As you can see, stamina is a thing. There is a run feature as well. Crap. Damn, we get fucked up. <laughs> I'm not very good with the melee. I normally don't really use melee. 
is pretty bad. And that's normally going to be the sound it makes when you fight against boss creatures, special creatures. All right, I'm going to try to attack them one at a time. No, it's not. Yeah, I honestly need to be dodging more. But I was not dodging. So I don't think I'm going to make it, <laughs> honestly. I think it's a wrap on me. Unless I get like one other healing item. I think that's pretty much all she wrote for me. Yeah. Now the thing is, this is where you can like either live or die. Looks like I'm gonna die up here because I'm already coming into the fight really badly banged up. That guy's a warrior. Oh, never mind. It looks like just defeating the level. Hang in there. Get get here. Now, if you die before you get here, you still make it to the compound, but you don't get this uh, cutscene. So the first time I played, I didn't know what I was doing, and I was playing with a bad controller, so I, I literally couldn't sprint. And, uh, yeah, I ended up dying before I even got here. You're awake. Hi there. Whoa, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? I'm Wallace. I, I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought you here. But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's... Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. This, this game's cool. Um, it gives me a feel of several different 
games that I've played over the years, um, immediately one of the games that it kind of feels like to me is like a Fallout game, like a Fallout Three. That's that's what that's the feeling I get from being in this like uh, torn down room. And this is a journal right here. We're gonna come back and read that to uh, find a little bit of, about the lore out before we leave. But I wanna uh, make sure we're moving forward, making progress. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how he survived that encounter. Seems like he was probably able to take out most of the enemies. And this is going to be the commander's room. Well, well, look who's awake. You put up quite a fight outside our gates. She definitely um, gives off vibes of uh, Carol from Walking Dead. I'm not even a huge uh, Walking Dead watcher. I think I got up to like maybe season five. But uh, that's definitely who she uh, reminds me of. And where's my it's weapon? It's with Riggs downstairs. If everything checks out here, I'll see you get it back. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there, or we'll let the root have you. So I'm going to go at this as a sensible minded fellow. I'm not going to try to piss her off because I'm surrounded by her people. Um, so just going to be straight with her. Uh, yeah, there's no need. Even if they had like an option to lie, I don't think there's any reason to lie to her. So I'm trying to get to that island across the water. Hmm. The island no tower. one has been in that tower in a very long time, but you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. The truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what. You want to leave? You'll have to do something for us first. Hmm. We're going to be a little bit spicy here. I'm going to say I don't owe you. Um, what can I do is a bit too easy. So from what she said, I think this is a appropriate response. The way I see it, you'd be a corpse if we didn't drag you in here. This is your chance to play a little hardball. Maybe even get what you want. First, we need See? power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. It's not a door, exactly. And it may not even work. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. So she's being vague about the other way out. Um, we're going to find out, out about that pretty soon. Um, it's not what you think. Um, if you haven't played this game, it's not what you think. So we're going to get to that uh, soon enough. Because I'm not losing any more of my people today. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I suspect the root have found a way in. Go check in with Riggs about your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. Right. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. So, um, what's crazy is that the root, if they did infiltrate, what's crazy is that they just kind of, like, just, just let it go. They just, uh... Like she's like, oh, my man, my, we lost the man down there. Um, it's probably the root. Oh, well, <laughs> business as usual. So that's that's kind of funny. You think um, you think they take a every able bodied person and uh, explore down there? The sooner the power's back on, the faster you can get out of here. 
maybe it happened recently. Um, if she said that, I've definitely missed it, but she might have said that. I don't really know. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. But uh, I think that's the only thing that makes sense. Otherwise, they just kind of... It, it may just be a case of, like, there being too much stuff happening all at once. Like, the root attacking from the outside. And if there's some from the inside, then, you know, they might just be outmanned. They might not have enough men to actually uh, take care of the problem on the inside, too. But the, you, you think that'd be some type of priority, but... Ford keeps us in the dark, figuratively and literally. Someone say Ruta getting in? Help that we're all in the dark. Can't see him coming. So yeah, it's uh, apparently it's a lot darker to them than it looks to be to us. No way am I going back out in the city. It looks fairly well lit to me, like a well lit enough to where you can see enemies approaching, but um, we've got to use a little bit of imagination for this Are part. Are you gonna help us get the power back? Then last time I played this, these boxes, um, they regenerated like once. They came back once after I broke them one time. Yeah, so I'm going to be counting on that. This place locked down. You go down there and you'll be shot on sight. Yeah, she's, uh, she's hiding something down there. It's not exactly true. I was able, actually able to access those areas. I got my eye on you. Don't try nothing. Oh yeah, this thing is completely locked down. This door. He's the only guard. So they're, they're pretty ragtag. So I guess I understand why they didn't spare any men. I, how many of them here? It's like one, two, three. That one guy that was walking. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, counting four. I told Mark not to go out there. His brother needs him. Well, he lost Mark, so I won't count Mark. I hope you can restore the power soon, stranger. Without light and heat, our weakest won't last long. Right, so I like to break all these boxes when I have a chance. Break everything that's breakable, and then um, at a certain point, they seem to come back. But it didn't really do that on my first playthrough, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's guaranteed for that to happen this time. All right, cool. And these are gonna be uh, our equipment guy and our, I forget if they call it relic or what have you. Let's see. Right, we got other characters in here too. Hell of a time to visit the ward, friend. Hey, friend. The actors just through that door and down the stairs. Keep your wits about you. Keep your wits about you. Thank you. Yeah, scrap is very important. So you'll definitely want to be farming as much scrap as you can. You can definitely find it in breakable items, as you can see. So. Yeah. I want to get as much of it as I can before things get uh, get underway. When uh, you basically use um, scrap to uh, buy items, it's gonna be your currency in the game. You need currency for quite a bit of stuff, just about everything. And iron's very important. You can think of item iron as a titanite from Dark Souls. It's gonna be the uh, you you can think of it as a titanite shard specifically. It's gonna be your um, initial upgrade uh, materials. All right, I think we're ready to move on. Hold on, what? Was that, I was supposed to get my sword from somewhere, right? Uh, did I mess that up? <laughs> I actually forget which I forgot what she said. And where's my it's weapon? It's with rigs downstairs. 
If everything checks out here, I'll see you get it back. Go check in with Riggs. About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the root. Hate to say it, I forgot what she said. I think this guy might have my sword. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Uh, welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one, though. <laughs> so he's the doctor, Riddler. too. Most everyone calls me Riggs. Well, your uh, sword mm, was pretty banged up in the fight. Mm, not much I could do with it, I'm afraid. The blade was shattered when we found you. Mostly scrap metal at this point. I think I remember Ace mentioned she found a few weapons out in the city. Maybe she'll help you out. Well, uh, last I heard, Ace went down to check out the reactor. Good luck down there. Thank Power you. Power being out has everyone on edge. Not to mention all the root out there. That's a pretty bad situation Keep for him. Walking, stranger. She is a surly individual. We're going to have to deal with her soon enough. So, yeah. Yeah, I thought um, I thought you got your weapon later on. I just um, couldn't remember. <clears throat> and I know he's the equipment guy, so I was like, does she want me to go to him to get the stuff or what? <clears throat> but we get it all here, so no harm, no foul. scared the life out of me she's a hunter no wandering around down here uh you're not from around here are you name's ace ace cotterell you looking for my friend les said he was coming down here to fix a few things that was days ago no one's seen him since everyone else wrote him off but not me i think maybe he you know yeah, yeah, maybe. Come to think of it, that's probably what he tried to do. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure he found some quiet place to sit things out, you know? He'll turn up. So, you ever start a reactor? Well, nope. it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though... Maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. So this is where we'll be able to pick our class, starting class. Uh, we got some really good choices here. The um, ex cultist comes with uh, healing abilities, which is which is really dope. I kind of want to do the ex cultist. But honestly, I like the hunter's uh, long-range uh, hunting rifle. So I think I'm gonna go with the hunter. Um, scrapper. I've never used the scrapper. I used the hunter on my last uh, character. I never used the scrapper. Only thing I didn't like about the shotgun was it only had like uh, a couple of shots. I forget which one had more bullets, the coach gun or the shotgun. I do like the healing, but you can buy healing later. I'm going to go with the hunter. I might go with the uh, the cultist. Uh, I might buy their gear, though. I, I kind of like their gear. But I'm going to go with the hunter. With the hunter, you get the long range uh, rifle, hunting rifle. You get the repeater pistol, which is pretty good. You get the sword. Uh, hunter's mark is okay, but we're probably going to go with the hunter. And then buy the cultist ability to get healing. So let's go for it. There. That should improve our odds. Get up there and start the reactor. And we start with Shadow Walker in this case. Maybe I should have picked the uh Oops. Maybe I should have picked the uh I don't know.
Whoops, I did not uh, change my equipment. Damn. Well, that's fine. Just now you guys get to see the gunplay. This is pretty standard stuff. But it plays like Dark Souls, but Dark Souls, uh, Resident Evil 4, kind of. Which I always thought those two types of uh, gameplays would, like, fit perfectly. Some, someone always told me that those two types of gameplay would fit really well together. get so many shots with it too. It's not the best close range gun, but I got a plan for a close range. I got a really good plan for close range. Watch my back, lady. Thank you. Oh, he dropped a really cool thing. He dropped a wow. That's really that's pretty rare for these guys to be dropping stuff like that. Normally, uh, mini bosses drop the luminite crystals. sending you down here you best go check in with Ford come visit my shop sometime yeah I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount cool yeah that went really well um I think there's some stuff here too yeah there's boxes and stuff so yeah let me change my uh, equipment like I failed to do last time you do get bonuses for I'm gonna keep. Am I actually gonna keep this on for a bit? The adventurer's tunic, uh, because you get extra chance to uh, get um, get stuff for breaking items, get loot for breaking items. So yeah. as long as I am here and not at the, uh, as, long as, as long as I'm here and not fighting, there's no reason to unequip this. That's kind of crazy. It's, it's kind of random what's actually breakable and what's not breakable. Um, for the most part, the, the smaller tables are. And of course, boxes. But sometimes, like, chairs are breakable, too. Yeah. And a lot of times, you get iron for uh, breaking chairs. I don't, I don't think this type of stuff is breakable. Faces are breakable. But, uh, yeah. Getting as much scrap and iron as you can at the beginning uh, is a huge advantage. So I definitely recommend taking full advantage when you can. But we're pretty much done here. Soon 
It's good to have some light around here. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. So you're going to save the world, ain't you? <laughs> I just need to get out of here. Oh, don't worry. Destiny will find you eventually. Go being creepy, man. Here. I want you to have this. Yeah, so cryptic about everything. Not many people can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old That's gonna be our Estes flask. Bobble could keep even death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there. Free of charge. Take good care of it. I appreciate that. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, Commander Ford, she knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. Okay. Uh, good to see a new face around here. So we're actually going to find out about the founder uh, right about now. I'm going to go and read her. There's a journal in that first room we started off in, and it details uh, some information about the founder. So we're going to go ahead and read that uh, probably next before we talk to Commander Ford. And we got some uh, knowledge about the Dragonheart here. Let me go ahead and read that for you guys. The Dragonheart can be used to replenish lost health. There are a limited number of uses before its power is depleted. Dragonheart charges are replenished after resting at a checkpoint or dying and L1 uses the dragon heart so uh, let's go ahead and uh, I guess before we talk to him I'm gonna actually buy some uh, iron from her if she has it available well, since I was in a fight like that and it doesn't look like never she's know. actually selling anything Less may turn up you never know so I'm probably gonna Less have to uh, yeah. talk to commander for it first and then come back to get her to sell me some iron <laughs> why don't you go talk to him you want to thank yourself. All right, so my next step is going to be to go to that journal. So we're going to get some uh, information about her ahead of schedule, I guess. And I like the way they do their, they uh, I like the way they do their journals in this game. It's pretty cool. So you can either read them like this, or you can do this to get the to get the words. I'm going to try to read the. I'm gonna try to read the uh, the journal like this, more atmospheric that way. So we got uh, the 15th of December, 1968. Lieutenant uh, Evelyn Cedar, one of only seven survivors to make it off the atoll. We had to abandon War 16 and retreat to Central here in War 13. Everyone else, they're all dead. Harsgard, Neville, Green, Parker, McKenzie, every last one of them is gone. We're the only ones left. The Root invaded War 13, too. There are bodies everywhere. Root and human both. Thankfully, the Root left for some reason. The place is abandoned. The Dreamers are gone. That, that's what the Root came for. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how I know that, but I'm certain of it. The Root and the Dreamers are connected somehow. I can feel it. When the Dreamers were killed, the Root no longer had a reason to stay. Captain Ford, commander now, I guess, says we're holding up here while we figure out our next move. He's fixed the crystal so nothing can follow us from the atoll. And there are only a few physical entrances. It should be defensible for as long as we need it. God. This is a hell of a Hanukkah. Like that last line. Uh, 15th of April, 1969. It's been months now. The war almost feels normal. We cleaned the bodies out. Though there are some doors we still can't get into. Commander Ford has us looking for survivors, getting them into the ward. 
He's a brave man, smart. Not like the bastards who got us into this mess. Thanks to Ford, we survived the first wave of the root invasion. Which is more than it can be said for the rest of the world. The root didn't just come out of the wards. They attacked all over. All at once. No one was ready. Armies were overwhelmed. France even tried nukes. Nukes on their own land. Then they went quiet. We lost all communication with anyone. The city's a war zone. We're surviving, but barely. How long can we do this? 3rd of May, 1969. I've been having dreams lately. I hear the root, smell them, watch them from inside their own heads as they hunt down and slaughter the survivors. When I wake up, I can still feel their joy, their rage. Sometimes it takes me to Sometimes it takes me a while to remember who I am, where I am. It's freaking me out. 24th of May 1969. We lost so many people today. Took control of a water tower though. Took control of a water tower though. It'll keep us alive, but I keep wondering if it's worth it. So many died so that we can what? Scrape by until they kill us too. Commander Ford spoke for the dead, assured us their sacrifices will not be forgotten. So long as we have breath, he said, we have hope. I wish I could believe that. 2nd of June, 1969. Ran across some old letters and journals from the folks who lived here before. They were full of hope, excitement. Andrew, Commander Ford, called me reading. But I guess he's been reading them too. He said their hope worried him. It was misguided, he said. Just like we were in War 16. Just like I am now. Couldn't help but snort. What the hell did he have to what the hell did he have to be hopeful for? He laughed when I told him. He actually thinks we'll survive, that we'll come back from this somehow. I thought he was naive, but his hope is what's kept us going, isn't it? It's kept us alive so far. I must have said as much because he smiled and said we were only alive because of people like me. People who caught details he missed and challenged his optimism. He said my cynicism made his optimism more real. I'm laughing again just thinking about it. Of all things to be worried about, he's worried about having hope. He thinks I'm keeping us alive. God, what a man. So uh, this uh, this lady seems to be taking a liking to uh, Commander Ford, who was clearly a man, and clearly the Commander Ford we met was a female. So there's got to be a connection there, right? Uh, 12th of August, 1969. Had another root dream last night. This one was different, real. They were waiting for us in my dream near the hotel courtyard where we've been uh, growing food. I told Ford about it. I thought he'd dismiss it. God knows why my CO did that often enough. God knows, uh, oh, God knows my, uh, God knows my CO did that often enough. But he said it was worth checking out. Good thing too, because they were there waiting. We fought them off because of my dream. Afterwards, I admitted my other dreams to Ford. Said it'd be going on for a while. He wanted me to tell the others, so I told the rest of the seven. We'll see what happens, but I think it was the right call. He's a good man, Andrew. I always knew it, but I... He's a good man. 15th of August, 1969. Okay. But what would it even look like if I hit on the leader of the war? He doesn't need that right now. <clears throat> We're just trying to survive. Who the hell thinks of dating in a post-apocalyptic hellscape? <laughs> 16th of August, 1969. Screw it. I'm asking him out. Uh, what's that? 17th? 17th of August, 1969. Well, hell. Turns out my feelings were mutual. Andrew didn't say anything because he was worried about what a relationship might do to leadership within the war. Would it look like favoritism? Would it affect how the others saw me? What about when we argued? 
He started asking a thousand questions until I shut him up. And I realized as I was shutting him up that this was the point. No matter how risky it might be, love is exactly what makes surviving worth the trouble. Besides, we have a goddamn common foe out there. It's not like we'll ever disagree on that. And then we jump to January. It's a big time time jump. Uh, first of January, uh, oh, in a couple of years too, uh, two years. First of January, 1971. Holy hell, I forgot about this whole thing. Guess you could say I've been distracted. Andrew and I got married last month, and today I'm pregnant. I haven't told Andrew yet. I want to keep it to myself a little longer. It's hard to believe there's a life inside of me, a new person who didn't exist before. It was Andrew's idea. I thought it was crazy for even, I thought he was crazy for even bringing it up. Who would raise a child in this creep show of an earth? Him and his damn optimism. But he's right. Children are the only future we have. I don't know what will happen to this little one or hell to us. But bringing a child into this world, the root are trying to rip away from us, feels like rebellion. It feels like hope. And goddamn if I'm not exactly, and goddamn if that's not exactly what we need right now. It's pretty good. I like the story. I like that it's not in our faces either. It's something you could just uh, read in the background. It's really good. So that is uh, Commander Ford, and that's likely going to be her lineage. That's going to be her, uh, either her parents, grandparents, something or other, to that degree. Glad to see you got the reaction. Maybe she's the wife. Who knows? <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. So I'm going to skip the Destiny talk. I think uh, finding out about the founder founder of War 13 is a bit more important. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. And we'll take all the help we can get. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. All right, let's get better equipment. So now, since I've broken all the boxes here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my uh, long range gear. Or actually, we don't we don't even have it. Never mind. So he's gonna give us access to. Uh, this stuff. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. Ah, uh, we got some iron and we got some scrap. Good stuff. Uh, Riggs can upgrade your guns and armor with materials found in the world or by defeating enemies. Upgrading your guns and armor is essential to keeping up with us, uh, increasingly difficult enemies in this game. So. This is good. Um, I want to buy stuff though. So I think I'm going to hold out a bit. Uh, you know what? I'll at least upgrade this once. I think that's a good idea because we're definitely going to be using that these however all right hey now not gonna worry about that uh, oh and uh, take this it's not the strongest stuff but more protection than what you've got ah there you go a bit sturdier every little bit counts out there it really does It's true, we don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. 
You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. Fair enough. Alright, so uh, I do want to see if there's like additional lore for that dragon heart. And there's a lot of stuff going on too with the systems we got. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, no, we won't find it there. Consumables, not there either. Huh. Never mind. Okay, we do got these materials, so, whoops. Okay, so we got our uh, materials for um, crafting, starting with iron, common resource used to reinforce basic weapons and armor up to level 5, and boss weapons up to level 3. The oldest metal in the world, or at least the world that's left. And we got the luminite crystal, which I feel like I shouldn't have right now, but random chance is a thing. Very rare resource used to craft uh, boss weapons and weapon mods. It can also be used to reinforce boss weapons and the dragon heart. Uh, before the root came, we found veins in this stuff all around the red crystals, uh, veins of this stuff uh, all around the red crystals. Commander Neville had us dig it up along with everything else, figure out how to use it. And then we have our uh, traits over here. This particular class comes with Shadow Walker, which is a pretty good ability. Um, the other class, that's why I was thinking about actually sticking to the, uh, the healing class, because they come with... Um, an ability that lets you uh you you gain um cooldown for shooting enemies so that would have been that would have actually came in handy but i'm not gonna worry about it so we're gonna we're gonna roll with this to start off with and it's gonna give us additional range damage the hunter gear increases range damage on targets greater than 10 meters away increases weak spot damage by 15 percent uh, hunter's boots help you walk soft and stand strong when you need to. They ain't magic though. The old hunters got killed like uh, everyone else. Alright, so let's get our special ability. Our mod, I should say. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. <laughs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? I don't upgrade trash. Nah, she's been a dick, so we'll be a dick it's back. The apocalypse. I can be as grumpy as I damn well please. <laughs> Let's see what we're dealing with here. From the look of that rifle, you're not getting close to the action. This'll keep those weeds in your sights. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Alright. I just say thanks in this case. Yeah, yeah. Neutral. Alright, and we got our hunter's mark. Um, we're gonna want better... We're gonna want better, um weapon mods but this one's not a bad one to start with weapon mods are used to augment the power of your ranged weapons uh, when equipped a weapon generates mod power by inflicting damage on enemy targets when the power meter is full press R1 to activate the weapon mod some weapon mods activate immediately others are an alternative fire mode for the weapon allowing you to shoot powerful projectiles with devastating effects Weapon mods can be equipped by going into the inventory screen, selecting a ranged weapon, and selecting uh, and hitting X to equip a weapon mod to that weapon. So let's go ahead and do it. We got our hunter's mark. Fair enough. Um, there is things to buy from this guy over here. Ah, you're all set, friend. The commander should help you get on your way now. All right, I think we're going to have to visit them one more time before we leave. But uh, let's go ahead and see what the commander has to say. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. 
Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. So the founder is going to be uh, the four we read about in the journal. The uh, the old man. So at, at that time, he wasn't an old man. He was, he was just a commander. But it's going to be her... Um, I believe her grandfather. Well, here's hoping it doesn't. And this is a desperation move. As you can see, they've never used that thing over there. But we are pinned into this uh, ward, as they call it. So we're going to be using desperate measures to... Uh, desperate measures to... Uh, basically escape out of here. He's not worth anything unless it's plugged into that terminal downstairs. So there's no safe way out of here other than using that terminal and activating that device. Commander says you did a good thing down there. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to check one more time, see if these guys are selling anything. Cause I could really use some iron. So, I hear you're turning on that big crystal. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that thing when it wakes up. <laughs> True, you don't know what's gonna happen. It's a hell of a time to visit the war, friend. You done well, friend. All right. Well, they aren't selling anything just yet. I'll probably check one more time before we leave. But maybe it's not possible. Maybe they just don't sell things at this point until you come back. All right, so she gave us a key. Uh, before I use it, I'm going to take a look at it. There we go. Uh, Datla key. This key, can, uh, key can power the crystal terminal in War 13. They say that uh, they say the rusted places are full of secrets. But are there any secrets left that can save us? I use the crystal unless absolutely necessary. The crystal attracts the root. Okay, so I guess uh, Commander Ford upstairs read this too. Let's use it. So this thing attracts the root. So that may spell bad things for this uh, War 13. Which I don't know for sure. Um, with as far as I got. I I'd read about it, but saw it working this red eye might be our only door to the outside world now you want to get out of here this is your shot my grandfather was the commander before me they called him the founder of ward 13 her grandfather he brought everyone to ward 13 when the root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the root came from. 
You spend so much time out there searching. One day, he didn't come back. I never knew what happened to him. We'll just ask her more about him. He knew the outside world better than anyone here. It's easier to think he's dead. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went. There. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. It's been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. Cool. All right, so and everything has replenished itself. So uh, we're gonna take off in just a little bit. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and once more equip the adventurer's gear. And I'm gonna break these boxes again. For more uh, more equipment more materials more resources yeah. so we're gonna make sure to get everything we possibly can before we set out so everything has replenished. Types of scrap. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of scrap. All right, and uh, downstairs we go. Let me talk to her right quick. Hello again, friend. Glad to see you back. I think we got um Oh, I forgot you could you could break these, right? Yeah. I always forget if you could break those or not. Hi. Oh yeah, he does have a story. Um do I wanna get into that right now? I guess so. Only a few weeks. The commander found my brother. We got separated from our parents when the root attacked our home. Mark looked out for me when we were lost. I... I don't know what to do now that he's gone. And if you didn't uh, realize, Mark was the brother that, uh, he died outside, um... Out just outside this, uh, this ward. Okay, I guess. I keep thinking Mark will be around the corner. It just doesn't feel right. Him being gone, I guess. I just wish I didn't dream about things before they happened, though. One listens. So we know a little bit about dreamers. Um, we read about them in a journal. Uh, apparently there is a strong connection between the dreamers and the root. Um, and apparently there that connection results in a shared vision. Sometime the dreamer can see like inside the root's uh, eyes. They see from the root's eyes. So we learned that from uh, Commander Ford's wife's journal. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm there with the root like it's happening right now I can I can feel them 
Sometimes I see people get hurt, and I know it hasn't happened yet. I wish they would listen to me. And it seems like a uh, a a uh, two-sided um, conduit, an open-ended um, conduit with both sides being open. So the root have some sort of access to these dreamers as well. Um, and the dreamers have access to the root. So we're going to find out more about that as we go along. Yeah. I try not to think about them. See you later. Hello again. Hello, traveler. Done right by Ward 13 so far. Commander Ford still wants me to keep an eye on you. At least for a bit. I know you've been helping us, but we gotta be careful now more than ever. Of course, but why would you tell me that to my face? I'm Lieutenant Ward. Commander Ford put me in charge of security. Not all enemies are root, you know. We gotta protect our own. You're only allowed in the main chamber and the armory, got it? No wandering around the restricted areas <laughs> then I gotta report it to the commander we got a system here best you abide by it a place like this doesn't run without rules commander Ford runs a tight ship here it's how we've lasted so long against the root you know just because he said that I actually want to uh, I actually want to go visit the uh, restricted areas <laughs> Commander Ford gave me the name. I, I didn't have one when she took me in. I figure it means I'm part of the ward. It's my home. I run security for Ward 13. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning the ropes, but the commander wouldn't give me this job if she didn't think I was fit to serve. Uh, we, we, run, we run drills all the time. I mean, I, I'm ready for anything. He's a nervous wreck. Yeah, yeah, Commander Ford found me at the gate when I was a few months old. Now, honestly, things aren't bad here if you stay inside. Good people, good, well, <laughs> all right, food. <laughs> and most importantly, strong walls. Now, I, I haven't been out in the city, but Ace tells me stories. Sounds like a nightmare. I'm happy I grew up here. It means I can give back, too. Keep us safe. I hope Wallace likes it here. I mean, it won't be easy without Mark. I'll look out for him. Oh, she's a great leader. She taught me everything I know. Like, I, I never knew my parents. Everybody here raised me, really, but... Well, she's always been my mentor. But she can be tough, though. I mean, a commander has to make the hard choices, right? I, mean, I, I still think I could have pulled Mark in the gates without the root making it in. She had to make a call, and I gotta respect that. Yeah. Well, I know he founded the ward. He closed the gates to protect everybody from the root. But, uh, uh Commander Ford doesn't like it when people talk about him, though. I, I mean, it seems like the founder was a hero, but she's always got this, this scowl when he's mentioned. We're gonna find out more about him, too. No restricted areas. So, yeah, I was going to just end the episode, um, but I'm going to do a few things before I leave. Um, I guess I'll talk to more people. It'll be, like, slightly longer. I was going to end it at about an hour, but... Oh, Bo came by asking if I had any contraband. <laughs> I don't think that boy even knows what that word means. Why are you goofing on Bo, lady? He's, he's trying. He's trying his we best. We would all be dead were it not for the ward. We owe our lives to this place. The war it uses uh, nuclear energy. I think that's the most interesting thing Hi. about this place. Well, that and uh, that and the fact that it has a mystical jewel in one of its rooms that you could use to teleport out. I didn't think but they'd take me in when I showed up at the war. I don't know how to do nothing. Damn. I don't know why, but I feel like McCabe is always mad at me. I never even talked to her before. Yeah, she got uh, some type of anger problems. He's just like a ghost. She comes and goes and doesn't seem to get into any trouble. Is Ace the girl we met? I think that is Ace, the one who's uh, also dressed in uh, hunter gear. I can't ever seem to get warm enough. I don't know why, but I, I feel like McCabe is always mad at me. Gotta learn how to use a gun, sir. 
or cook or something. You ain't gonna make it in this world without knowing how to aim a rifle. Yeah, see. I can't believe Ace goes into the city all the time. It's like asking the weeds to all here. I can't stand being cooped up here. <laughs> but I ain't going outside. It's that uh, pandemic life right there. Oh, you keep going out there. The weeds gonna get you real quick. <laughs> That's probably the it. Gonna get to us eventually. Oh, she has a lot to say. I can't believe Ace goes into the city all the Ever time. thought that this is all one it's like mass asking hallucination? The weeds to all here. I have. Yeah, I uh, think about that a lot. You know what? That's that's 2020 uh, right there in a nutshell. Oh, McCabe, she don't take shit from anyone, not even Ford. How is it that Ace can leave the ward and come back without a scratch on her? I think she's working for the Deadwood. Yeah, right. Where did the Deadwood come from? Maybe they were here the whole time. Huh? <laughs> Mind blown. Yeah, right. Where did the Deadwood come from? Maybe they were here. Conspiracy the theorist. Let's <clears throat> see what else the other people got to say. I wish I could see the sun again. Riggs made me a new leg brace the other day. Just out of the blue. Guess he saw me limping pretty bad. I guess it's under his pants. I never seem to get warm enough. Oh, he moved from over there to over here. Damn. Never know if it's night or day in this place. Uh, I'm so bored. It's that COVID life right there. Oh, Bo came by asking if I had any contraband. <laughs> I don't think that boy even knows what that word means. I don't like Ace wandering around the city on her own. I fear one day she won't come back. Mind yourself in the lower levels. There are ghosts in the walls. What? You know, I enjoy visiting Reggie. <laughs> he carries smiles for everyone. The greatest threat we face here is not trusting one another. Yeah, really? You guys should like be Mind yourself in the lower levels. You guys should be like super comrade super comrades. Keep moving. Seriously. Why would you guys not trust each other? I really don't understand that. Ah, good to see you again. Okay, so we can look at his wares now. What do you need? Okay, so we still don't have enough to upgrade that, but we can buy some stuff. Merchants buy and sell items for scrap. Most merchants sell consumables, which are useful for curing status effects or stocking up ammo. So, uh, yeah, we have a few items here. <clears throat> coach gun is the one that has two magazine I'm not gonna worry about that I might get the shotgun though seven magazine it does a lot of damage I might get that just in case I have trouble elsewhere who I do want the cultist stuff yeah this this where you, the cultists have a uh, mob power generation Yeah, I might. I think I'm gonna get this stuff. Be I'm gonna wait there. though. I'm gonna wait to get uh, that stuff. What now? Yeah, better be worth my time. NPCs throughout the world in War 13 can be used to craft new items, weapon mods, boss weapons, armor, etc. Each crafting recipe has a number of required materials plus scrap, which are required to craft them. Acquire crafting materials can be viewed in the materials tab under player inventory by pressing options and we could buy additional stuff. So I think I'm just going to buy the Mender's Aura here because healing is really good. Healing is exceptional. I've got work to do. So that's what I'm going to spend my money on. Okay, so we're going to equip the healing to the pistol. There we go. And I really don't even have enough to buy anything from Ace anymore. 
but I'm gonna see um, if we can buy at least like one thing. Better camera angle, Reggie. Come on, Reggie. Let me get a better camera angle. I kind of want to leave so I can get a better camera angle, but I'm trapped. Okay. Um Okay. Let me let me talk to you respectfully, sir. Not Greetings, talk to the friend. wall. Only the best. Um I guess I won't buy I, I wanted to kind of buy some healing items too, Save but it's, it's okay. Greetings, friend. We'll talk to him Save more later. Sorry, we didn't find less. Guess my lucky coin couldn't keep him safe. I wish we could adjust the camera. Oh no. Got him. While they're talking. But hey, if you find goods ground out in the world, bring it by, yeah. I'll deal you fair. Trade. Let me get some iron. Oh, I can't afford it. Sweet. Sweet. Take care then. That is actually fantastic. Um, I'm gonna take a quick run downstairs, and then um, I'm gonna go even further to the restricted area. Take a quick run here to get some uh, some more materials if possible. <coughs> Like I can't go down there. Okay, now you don't really have to do this as extreme as I'm doing it. I just want to make sure I have the best possible start to the game. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade my hunting rifle. I need to figure out what clothes I'm going to use. For now, I'm not going to worry about defense. I'm just going to worry about um, damage. So I'll worry about defense later. I'm thinking I probably should have rolled with um, a different class, with the cultist class. Keep moving. I'm oh, traveler! Certainly. Okay, so I just I don't have enough uh, scrap metal to upgrade this again. I can sell something though. Let's see what can I sell. Be 
safe out there. Alright, so we're done. We are done here. So uh next time we're gonna go ahead and transport ourselves to the uh to the earth by using this crystal. Oh, let me make sure I have all the equipment that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the hunter stuff for now. I guess another thing I can do is go to the restricted area, see how far we can get down there. I don't think we can get too far. But I do wanna at least try. Yeah, you can't get very far. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Just making sure. So we'll be coming back there pretty soon. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and leave. And um, for now, uh, since we're already at an hour, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode uh, right here. So I appreciate you guys for joining me today. Hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Remnant from the Ashes playthrough. Next time we will be tackling, I guess I need to face him this way. It's so weird. I can't get him to just turn around. I can't get him to just turn this way because he does that. I have to do that and then swivel the camera like that. But uh, yeah, we'll be playing this for a little bit as we um, take a little break from the Darksiders franchise. Um, and yeah, we'll see how far we can get into this. So appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, we'll continue this next time. Till next time, peace.